So we're here at the Fotokina, and uh, who are you? I'm Misha, uh, Aperture Brand Ambassador. Um, going to tell you some stuff about our So this our is lights. the Aperture Brand right here, the exactly. logo? Yeah, this is our logo, beautiful yeah. LED lighting. Uh, these are some of our older panels, as you can see. Those are the big ones? Those are the big ones. Of course, we have the bigger ones like the 120D uh, and the 300Ds, which aren't panels, but also LED, uh, LED lights, which I really like. And you're showing a, the future new one, a small one? Exactly. This is our future light. It's a prototype for now. It's called the MW. The W stands for waterproof, because you can uh, put it underwater for uh, at least three meters. And it will be released somewhere around the NAB next year, which is in April. Um, it goes pretty hard. Watch out for your eyes. Because here we go. As you can see, it's a very strong light. It will be the, the strongest uh, small LED on the market. Um, so how does it compare to, uh, I have the, what's it called, the M, uh, M9? What's this one? Uh, M9, uh, so the, we have the M9 and the MX, which is about yeah. two times as strong. Stand, stand right and again, yeah. So you have the, looks this is the M9? Maybe is this, is this yeah. the most popular? Uh, well, actually, this uh, was the most popular, but the one that's being held over here, yeah. that's the MX. Yeah. Uh, it's twice as strong as the M9. Yeah. So yeah. right here, twice as strong, can you hold? Yeah, yeah definitely. So this is a right here. bigger light system. Exactly, it's a bit bigger, but as you can see, it still fits in the palm of my hand. Uh, so this is now the strongest mini LED on the market. Um, What's special about that one? The special thing is that it's, yeah, it's by color, uh, you can put it in five steps, and also it's very... Oh, yeah, sure, of course, wait, let me put this one down. You can dim it if you want, but you can also put it at maximum, and as you can see, it has different color temperatures, which I can change also by uh, press on the button. As you can see, it goes all the way warm and cold. Very special, very very sturdy, as you can see. You really have to try hard to break it. And it's powered by USB-C, if you want, but uh, of course there's a battery inside as well, uh, which is 1800 milliampere. Um, love this light. It's like a portable eye light. You can always use, you can always put it in your pocket, always carry it in your bag. How's it's the battery like life compared to this? Um, it's a bit longer, it's about one hour longer. Um, of course, it differs on the, how do you call it, intensity. But um, how bigger, uh, how newer the light, the more battery life it has. Um, actually, the MW has the best battery life. This one? Yeah, this one has the best battery life. So what is the difference in technology? It looks like it's a different kind of LED or...? Uh, well, actually, uh, what I can tell you about is, is that uh, the LEDs are just uh, organized in a different way. That's why you get a bit of a softer light. You make a, the least bright, less bright? Yeah. So this is, let's see, uh, this is already the less bright. Yeah. Right. This is the minimum. And I can turn it up if you want. There we go. Turn it up all the way. Can you light yourself with it? Yeah, definitely. You can even blind your clients if you want. Yeah. Or uh, the cameraman if you want. All right. As you can see, you can go down. Very compact. It's very compact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The weight on this one. Wait, you can feel it. It's. Uh, yeah. I actually cannot tell you how heavy it is, but it feels like maybe 200 grams. And there's, so there's a screw here. Yeah, there's only one underneath it. And uh, the buttons do what? Uh, actually, um, so this is uh, making it less bright. This is making it more bright. There is a booster on it, which gives it an additional 20% uh, percent of power. And if you hold the booster button. We have some special gimmicks in it. Let's see. Oh wait, let me turn the booster off. So for example, we have the paparazzi effect for all your famous people out there. We have a firework effect, which changes the intensity. Like there is some one watching fireworks and it goes on your face. As you can see, um, the fault bulb that you see often used in horror movies where you walk in a hallway and the, the light is not working properly. The lighting effect where you can see it in a thunderstorm and then as you can see nice. um, there it goes. 
and you have the TV. So for example, if someone's watching TV, you don't need a real TV, but it changes the intensity and it feels like it's changing scenes as well. Um, so those are the, the little gimmicks, the little extras that uh, will be really nice and you can pretty much hide it anywhere, which is uh, what makes it more useful, in my opinion. I really like it. So how soon is this available? Uh, hopefully during NAB next year, which is uh, around April, and then should be on the market. Is there a price? Uh, I cannot give you a guaranteed price, but the pricing will be approximately at 250 euros, excluding the VAT, which is of course different in every this country. This one, how much? Um, I have to ask yeah, it's, it's on the market 140, now, right? right? 149? 149. 149, there, right? So it's 149. And this one is also from last April? The F7? Yeah. 98. So it's big one. Um, as you can see, the light is pretty soft as well. You can change the intensity. It goes on the Sony batteries. Um, yes. Can you do color temperature on this one too? Um, at this one, yeah, you can uh, change the color temperature up to 10,000 10, K. Uh, this is where we change the percentage. And then when you use the same button, you can change the color temperature. It goes all the way from 9,500 to, as you can see, 3,200, which basically means daylight is right in the middle and daylight is the strongest uh, light intensity. Um, yeah, easily changeable, very light, very portable, battery powered. Uh, nice. You can also use it by USB-C. And you put these uh, adapters in front? Yeah, you get a couple of gels with it, uh, so you can even gel it or make it more soft. All right. Oops, oh, there we go. Can we uh, check this one over there? Uh, here you have a uh, 180D. Uh, yeah, so this is my favorite uh, aperture light, actually. It's the 120D Mark II. You've probably heard of the 120D Mark I. This one is about 25% stronger. 25% uh, stronger than the 120D Mark I that is, of course. Uh, one of the really nice things about it is it just comes with one box. Yeah. Just one, uh, instead of two boxes where the other one came with. What is this display? Is that e-ink? I'm sorry? Is that a memory LCD? Uh, I actually wouldn't then, know. So what, what you can do, can you show? Yeah, definitely. Uh, one thing I really like, it's, it doesn't go from 10%, but you can go even lower, start at 0%, and then every 1% gives you some extra. Uh, you can go, of course, all the way to 99, or 100, of course. Uh, you can kill the fan if you want. Uh, sometimes the fan might be a little bit hard so, uh, with the 120D Mark I. With the 120D Mark II, that's fixed, and you can even turn off the fan. Uh, you can group it so you can control it by the remote control. You can put some effects at it as well, like the effects just, I just showed you, showed you on the MW. Uh, there's a lightning effect, there's a TV effect as well, paparazzi, uh, fireworks, just like the other light, but you can change a little bit more of the, the variables. So it's a little bit more diverse. Um, and of course, to press it and hold it, you go back to the other, um, to the normal settings. Is that a wi wireless antenna? Yeah, it's a wireless antenna. You can uh, use the remote control to control it if you want. You yeah. can make different groups. Um, you can have many of these. Exactly, you can have many of these. Like, like for example, all these are FED uh, remote. I thought she was And so Let this is a professional class? Or? I'm sorry? Would you say this is, all of your lights are professional, but is this like a... Definitely, definitely. Uh, this one is, in my opinion, very professional. Uh, I think all of our lights are very professional, actually. But this one is just getting easier and easier in use. And um, yeah, it's really good stuff. Use it in a lot of my videos. Really yeah. big fan of it. Can you make it the uh, max brightness? Yeah, definitely. There we go. At the moment, this is the maximum brightness. So, does it do a specific kind of a video intensity or something? Um, 
You mean like the frequency? What is this technology right here? This, uh, this LED? Is, this is a, yeah, this is an LED technology. The barn door in front so you can shape your light a bit better. As you uh, probably know, we have a lot of more lighting accessories at this time, which the barn door is one of it, but also the new soft boxes. Um, What's the advantage of having a big one like this? I'm sorry? This is uh, spreading the light differently? Yeah, this is spreading the light uh, differently. It makes it the light a lot softer, as I can show you. There we go. Yeah. Defies the light. There's a gel holder inside as well. I can show you right here. Watch out. There we go. There's a gel holder. I'm really in love with this one. You open it, and as you can see, it's a magnetic magnetic gel holder. Yeah. It's pretty strong. You can put any filters in it. Just here, and then close it, and just sticks on there. As you can see, the light bounces around. It gives a width compared with this cloth. Gives a very nice uh, soft light for interviews. I really love to use it. Of course, we nice. have the grid as well which comes with a softbox and we do not only have the small softbox but let's see for example up there are the bigger ones this is a bigger one uh, softer the light so is this uh, this has been on the market already yeah it's on the market yeah the 300d is on the market uh is that the biggest one that's the biggest one as as, uh, as of this moment, indeed. Yeah. And, uh, how much kind of price around? Uh, this one is on the top of my head around 1,100. Yeah. I think a bit cheaper actually um, in euros. And that uh, one? This one is 709 euros as well, excluding yeah. the tax. Um, doesn't come with the barn door. I'm of course speaking only about the light there. Um, you always get a remote with it. And this remote can be used for more than one light? Yeah, definitely. Like, um, I can show you if you want. It's up here. We all put all these lights in different groups. So there we go. Like, for example, uh, it's not, uh, I bet it you need. doesn't work. Always yeah, happens. It didn't, is maybe it, it's not the right remote. I think it's not the right remote. But we so, have to look. when you do video productions, you would have how many of these? When you do video productions? Yeah, yourself. It, it, it really depends uh, on what I uh, want to do. Often I only use one of those lights and bounce it on a reflector or I use some negative fill in the form of a black cloth. Uh, really depends, but in the bigger production, sometimes I use three 300Ds, a couple of 120D Mark IIs. Uh, it really depends on what, what you want to shoot, but often for an easy interview setting, one will be plenty if you have some reflectors. So, so yeah. why is Aperture the best company for this kind of stuff? It's very good quality, it's really professional gear, uh, they listen to their customers a lot and what I really like is of course the price as well. It's, uh, it's not expensive, good quality, so yeah, best of everything I guess, right?